I won't ask you who you think should be the Big Ten Player of the Year because we still got a month left anyway. I, I have a feeling you'd probably say Jared if we pressed you on it. But in terms of Dream on Green, just what are the challenges he brings? Sounds like distributor, rebounder, scorer, just does a lot of different things. What do you have to do to combat that, and, and who may be involved with that plan? Well, everybody's got to be involved because you, you're right on. Draymond is, is a tremendous basketball player. I mean, there, there's so many things that he can do um, that can affect the outcome of the game. Um, you know, as I talked about Robbie Humway, that's one of the great things you enjoy watching guys develop in this league and, and just the transformations he's made from his freshman, sophomore, junior to his senior year um, has been very impressive. I mean, they, they've done a great job with him and, and give him a lot of credit. Uh, he's, he's worked very hard, you know, on his game. But I, I think, you know, for us guarding him, it's, it's going to take, you know, five guys out there um, having an awareness of where he is and, and really what Michigan State needs because they, they run a lot of stuff through him. Is this a challenge in particular for Deshaun? Is he going to be a guy that you might? We'll use him, yeah. Um, but, but like I said, you know, what's funny is, is just watching Michigan State play and, and all the different guys that have tried to guard him and, and who's had success and, and who hasn't had success. Um, you've had more success than most teams against Michigan State since you came in. When you got into the Big Ten and you, what did you figure out it was going to take to compete with them on their level? And is it different than with most of the other teams in the Big Ten if, if you're going to compete with Michigan State? Well, I think the first thing I figured out was really good players. Um, and, and I say I'm being dead serious about that. But I, I think that uh, as you look at Michigan State and, and the job that Coach Izzo has done you know, in his however long he's been there, probably 15, 17 years, um, you know, and, and he walked into, as, as I did at Butler, um, you know, he took over a program that had had, had success, and he's, he's really taken it to another level. And, um, you know, my time coming in the league, you know, from afar, I've always been a Big Ten fan from a little kid growing up, and, and you know, they have been um, kind of at the top. And, and knowing eight years ago when I got here that that was – one of a few programs that was probably going to stand the test of time that we were going to have to compete with if we wanted to do this thing like we had set out to.